for the opportunity to the next stream interview you. With me, I'm with the DBC of Uganda Matters University in Kozi. So, would you please introduce yourself to those that know you and those that may not be known with you? Okay, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity as well. I'm called Dr. Father Christopher Mukidi. I'm the Deputy Vice Chancellor. And before, as you know, I was working as a registrar. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, Sir Abut, what has brought us mainly to interview you about the commencement lecture that will be happening tomorrow? So, about this commencement lecture, uh, as far as I believe, it is an outstanding event at Uganda Matters University for, for some time. Now, how so I believe how many, what, what could be the purpose and the significance of this event? Thank you so much. Uh, before I speak about the significance uh, of the event, I just want to give you a very quick history. Um, for many years, actually, we did not have a commencement lecture. Uh, when I joined Uganda Matters University in 2014, um, I noticed that uh, that event was missing and then that same year or the following year we went to Kishubi and we, we came to learn that uh, they had had a commencement lecture um, the day before. So we picked up the lesson and we came and, uh, and organized for the commencement lecture the following year. And in fact, the person whom we used was the very person who had given the commencement lecture at, at Kishubi. Uh, was called Father Deatungura, who is now dead. So he gave us the same lecture. So historically, uh, I must say that I am linked with the beginning of the commencement lecture. Now back to the question you are asking, what is the significance? Uh, first of all, uh, when we are going to carry out the graduation ceremony, we are supposed to have uh, a series of so many activities, events, uh, and especially I'm talking in view of pre-COVID. Uh, we used to have, for example, cleaning in the, in the neighborhood and making a lot of community outreach. Now, the commencement lecture, besides being an academic activity, it is one of those activities that we do in the week uh, of, the, of the graduation. It, it adds glamour, it adds uh, some warmth in, in the events uh, leading to, to the graduation. Uh, secondly, it is meant purposely for those who are going to graduate, even though other people can attend, but it is meant for people who are going to graduate. And that explains, therefore, why whoever is chosen to speak to them, talks to them about life, their life after, when they live after graduation, what happens? How are they going to create jobs for, for themselves? Or if they are going to look for jobs, how are they supposed to um, position themselves in such a way that they can get these jobs? So you would say that uh, they are given a number of tips uh, people we bring are, uh, they share from the experience what they have gone through and, uh, and the students speak it from there. And besides, it is also a time for networking, you know, after you have had your classes, uh, the lectures, you have gone back to your homes, uh, different people have, you know, you don't know, some already are employed, others are not yet employed. So when you come back together uh, and, uh, and you network, you never know what you can be uh, connected to. So the, the commencement lecture is a time of networking with the fellow students. As I also mentioned earlier, it is also a moment of inspiration. You know? um, many students, when they finish uh, the, their courses, they tend to think only in terms of uh, being employed. Uh, in some commencement lectures that we, we have had, uh, 
uh, we've had people share that they, they learned the, um, the uh, can I say learning inspiration? No, they can't learn inspiration. They learned something that inspired them to go and begin their own businesses. Um, instead of just being on the streets, looking for jobs which are not there, but when they hear the experiences that people are sharing, um, they bank on that one, they also go and do the same, and some of them become very uh, successful. So, as I end on this question, it is an academic event. It is an academic event, okay? Because even the people that we invite to come and speak to them, they, they have that academic background. Even you'll see some people dressed in their gowns, um, uh, and so on and so forth. But uh, besides uh, being an academic event, it, it is majorly meant to prepare the students um, for the world that will come to them when they, when they graduate. And uh, as we prepare those who, have, uh, who are going to graduate, but also we have students who will attend from here, so when they hear these ideas, it, it will also be good for them. Okay, thank you so much, sir. That as well explains the next question I'm going to ask. Uh, can you explain to us why the university arranges such an event of which you have answered? So we are very grateful. But I would still want to ask another question of the graduates, uh, the purpose, the main purpose of this event. How do you think the event prepares them for the day after graduation? or as they go to the outside world? So it will depend on so many factors. One of those is the disposition of those who are going to listen to the speaker. Uh, you know, we can all listen to the same person speaking, but uh, each one of us will be inspired differently, and even our actions that happen afterwards uh, will be different. Um, so. I cannot predict, for, for example, how uh, different students will react after they have heard what they have been told during the commencement lecture. But uh, what I can say is that all of them will be given the basics, especially vis-a-vis uh, -vis the, the, the title uh, that will be given to them. Uh, maybe you will be, be You'll be interested to know the title for the commencement lecture. Yes, sir. That is agility, flexibility, and adaptability towards transformational change. I will repeat agility, flexibility, and adaptability towards transformational change. Okay. Yes, so th these, these words speak for themselves. Uh, and I think to be to be agile has to do with the, you know being a bit a little bit fast to be agile, flexible. That means you can adapt. Mm -hmm. Like uh, we showed during the the COVID period, um, people could not be could not continue to be employed like teachers. So they adapted and they, and they looked for other jobs that would not sustain them. So they become flexible. You don't just stick to the same thing that you have been doing, but you, you look at the situation and you interpret it, and then you look for another way how you can uh, you can address it. And more or less uh, the same having to do with adaptability. You, know? you can't always do the same thing even though the conditions are changing. Uh, so. Um, and in the end, everything is leading to transformational change. Uh, so the topic is that uh, whatever we hear, whatever we digest, we assimilate, we, we should not really be the same after listening to this lecture. Thank you so much, sir. That, that is really a nice theme. And I would like to still ask a little about that theme agility, flexibility, adaptability to transformation. What really inspired, or why in all things did you come up with this particular one? Okay, um, 
we do not have to do much because this theme is actually the theme of the new vice chancellor. This is the theme that he proposed that will guide us in this year for the whole year. And uh, the management decided that uh, the same theme would be applicable to all the events that we shall be carrying out, uh, including the graduation. Mm -hmm. So even after the commencement lecture, even after graduation, yes. that theme yeah. still will continue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it is the main thing that we are carrying okay. Thank yeah. you so much. So lastly, we would like to request or tell the other students there who are not graduates uh, why this would also be useful to them. Why would why you would encourage them to also attend, despite the fact that they are not graduates? Yes, as uh, I mentioned earlier, every time you have an event, and especially an academic event, it is uh, it provides learning. It provides a moment for learning, and for and so for students um, who will attend this um, uh, this lecture. commencement lecture, there will be something to learn as long as they open themselves, they open up their mind and listen. So they will have something to learn, and um, they don't have to wait until the time of their graduation. They could actually pick. Um, an idea or two ideas, and even begin implementing them. We know some people, for example, who have started the businesses where they are still studying. Mm -hmm. So they, they could get something uh, from this lecture and, and begin implementing it instead of uh, becoming a, a burden to their parents and uh, be, being a burden to their, to their sponsors. So there is a lot that they can benefit from this. Besides, um, some of those who may be, may be still struggling to get topics straight about, mm -hmm. so when you listen to someone speaking, you never know what can happen. You can be inspired and say, oh, this could be something that I can read about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. And uh, it could also be something that you can use for a post work. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know, you, you adapt. The questions may be set differently, but there could be something that you could pick that could be applicable to, to whatever you are doing. So there are so many opportunities actually in attending. You, you lose nothing as a student to attend. And you lose everything if you don't attend. Because this, this commencement lecture, it will be the only one forever. The same, the time, the person giving it, it will never happen again. Okay? It will never happen again. Even if the same person is invited back to give it, he will never give it the same way. Yes, yes. So that is why it is important that uh, every activity, uh, when it is provided for, especially from the university, students should really embrace it. Because they will never have it. And even for you as a student, uh, that life will not be repeated. For example, now I was once a student, but I can never be, go back to being a student. I mean, in the sense of the, the way you are, I can be a student by studying and with that, but I'll never go back to that life, the the same life that you are in. So that experience is never repeated. And when you lose it, you lose it. It, it never repeats itself. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the opportunity, for allowing us to interview you. We do not take it for granted. And hopefully to the people that are actually watching us, hopefully you know why this commencement lecture is very important. And to the different students that are there, that are not graduates, yes, we are, call, we are calling upon you to come and join in because as the DVC has said, you do not have a chance again. They might call another person for this, uh, this person for that particular uh, to talk about that again, but you might not get the same content like they shared before. Thank you so much for watching.